Hi, DD Solar here. Thanks for tuning in. This is a variant of the MPT7210A solar charge controller. As you probably know, it has a very loud and annoying fan. I am experimenting to see if there's anything I can do to quiet the fan down. There's several ways I could go about it, and the cheap way would be to try to use the existing fan. So that's what I'm going to try first. First, here's a benchmark of the fan running at wide open throttle, 12 volts DC. You can hear the noise. It's quite aggravating. It's a high-pitched sound. So it is quite aggravating. If you're in the same room with the charge controller all day, that could be very aggravating. Next, I'm going to try running the fan outside of the case, just the fan by itself, because I want to hear the fan without any interfering partitions or vents or grills or anything like that that could interfere with the airflow. I want to see if the fan by itself is just as noisy. So to do that I'm removing it from the case. I'm also going to remove it from this faceplate. Okay here's the fan running outside of the case. Still very noisy, fairly high pitched, but as expected the case itself is amplifying and echoing the high pitched sound which makes it even worse. Even running outside the case the fan is noticeably loud and has a high pitched sound. Now I'm going to remove the fan entirely from this faceplate because I want to run the fan with no interference with the airflow that's coming through the fan, see if that has any effect. Okay, there's the fan running. It's currently running at 11.95 volts and as you can hear, there's almost no sound at all, which is pretty much exactly what I expected to find. Okay, there's a better view of my power supply. I'm using a pair of solar panels which are running into this little Drock DC converter here. It's putting out 11.95 volts, 0.09 amps. So this is a very small fan, but as you can hear, almost no sound at all. Now the sound you're hearing there is the bearings of the fan. Unfortunately, it's a cheap fan, and if you get it just right, the bearings make a racket. But that's a different sound. Right now, if you run it in a vertical position, which is how I'd be running it, you can almost not hear it. it you hear the sound of the air, there's a little bit of blade sound, but there's no actual high-pitched aggravating sound. Now I have always suspected that the reason the fan was so noisy was not the fan itself, but the design of the case. So now I'm going to show you the evidence for that. This is the faceplate. You can see I took it off, and the fan would be sucking air in here and blowing it into the case. So that means that this side of the fan, the side with no label, that's the intake side on a fan usually, would be right here. So. I'm going to move the fan up against the faceplate and listen to what happens. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, so I'm going to do it again near the camera. As I always suspected with this case, it isn't the fan that's noisy, it's the design of the case and what happens is this metal piece here, which is supposed to be a fan grill, that really shouldn't be there. Really, that should be cut out. So one option would be just to cut this out and no longer have it there. It's just aluminum and it would be fairly easy to cut. Just take a Dremel tool and cut here and here and here. That would really improve the sound or reduce the sound. I'm looking for a cheap option. I don't want to spend a lot of money. I don't want to spend too much time working on this thing. So there's two options for me. As I said, one is just to cut this out. And there's not much metal there, so that wouldn't be too hard. But another option that I'm fond of, and I've made videos about this before, is simply to mount the fan outside the case like this. And then use some standoffs to attach it. And then take some black tape or something and wrap it around it to seal the connection to the case. So to show you what that option looks like, this is the no cutting, no grinding of metal option. I'm simply going to take some M3 standoffs they look like this. These are M3s, I believe. They come with these plastic screws. I've got a whole box of them here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount a couple of these standoffs like this. This is one option. I'm still deciding whether I want to cut the metal out. I would prefer not to cut any metal in the case right now. And I don't think I have a cutting wheel anyway that will fit my Dremel. I have to look around to see if I have one. I'm going to go ahead and try this here. See how it works out. This is costing me like what? 10 cents. So this is a very cheap and fast option. You do have to open the case, but it's really not that hard to do. Now that the standoffs are attached to the outside of the case, I have the option of putting the fan either facing in or facing out. So I'm just going to leave it the way it was. I'm going to have it facing in. Let me turn the fan off. 
Now, while I'm showing you this, I'm also going to mention that, uh, you know, you can upgrade the fan. All it is is a 12 volt fan. It's drawing about 95 milliamps. So, you know, I wouldn't hook a big fan up to this, but it'll run a 12 volt DC brushless fan. Okay, so we're going to call this the no cutting option. I'm going to try this option first. So I have not cut this middle part out. All that's going to do is interfere with the airflow. That's all it does. I can't really call it a fan grill because honestly you could still stick your finger in there and I've done it before. So really this thing in the middle does not protect the fan all that much at all. What I've done is I've attached two M3 standoffs to the fan because there's only two holes. I put M3 standoffs in the other two holes that are available. And then the fan just has two pegs on it made out of M3 standoffs. Now I can take the fan and attach it right here outside the case. You don't want to have anything up against the fan because these blades are moving really fast. As soon as you place an object nearby the fan blades, there will be a turbulence effect. And the blades are moving really fast, so it creates quite a scream. I'm going to place the fan right on here and screw these nylon bolts in. And this is not... I would like to have four holes to mount the fan, but honestly, it's a little tiny brushless fan. It's not going anywhere. It's not, it's not a problem. It's not dangerous. So I'm not really worried about it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the fan connector and I'm going to run that inside through the fan grill right here. Brushless fans usually have the ability to remove the wire. There's usually a little clip right here at the corner. If you remove the wire though, you'll be pulling directly on where that's soldered to the motor controller, which is inside the fan. So potentially you could pull that off. And I don't really want to do that. So right now, since I'm just playing around, I'm testing different options, I'm just going to bend the wire in like that and run the cable right inside like that. Now you see there's plenty of standoff from, from the fan, so it can probably build more pressure that way. I still have the option of taking this metal out later, and I probably will later, just not right now. Don't feel like it. And now this fan has zero interference. There's no aerodynamic interferences or anomalies with the airflow that's coming in the fan here. You see how tiny these blades are. They're really, really tiny and they spin really fast. So they're noisy if you have anything up against them. This fan was not intended to have something placed right over it. That's not how you're supposed to use it if you want it to be quiet. Now, if you don't care about the noise, yes, but it's fine to cover it, but you will create an aerodynamic uh, problem. This, these fans are designed so that they pass a certain amount of air efficiently but they don't account for you taking a grill or something and just slapping it over the top. They never, they don't take that into account. To the best of my knowledge, they don't. So it's not the fan's fault. The fan really isn't noisy. It's actually fairly quiet. Now I have made multiple other videos where I use this technique to mount a fan on M3 standoffs. You can certainly go check those out. I use them on inverters and it works very well. What's not so professional is I use some paper tape I have. This is a black paper tape. And I don't have my 3D printer working right now. I don't feel like using it. It's not been run in probably years now. So I don't really have any options other than use tape. So what I'm going to do is just to test this idea, I'm going to wrap tape, black tape around it. And it will create a fairly good seal. Then I'm going to use a knife and trim off the excess. Okay, so I'm just wrapping the black paper tape around to create a shroud for the fan. I will trim off the excess. And I don't know how many times I've done this now, quite a few times. And I've been using it to create multi-stage fans, cooling fans for my inverters, which have some of the most aggravating and noisy fans and fan control algorithms you've ever heard. If you're interested in modifying the fans on inverters and equipment, check out those videos. They're in my uploads. And I use this exact same technique. And those fans have been running for a very long time now, and they work very well. And I'm just basically doing a very similar modification. Nice and cheap doesn't cost much, doesn't take much time. You can get as tedious as you want to. I'm just going to fold the tape on. Probably will be ripping this off later. So I'd like it to look nicer, obviously, but it's not going to. We'll call this a prototype. I'm just going to cut the excess tape off. Okay, there's the semi-finished product. It's enough to test it. I need to put a little more tape here to seal that hole, so I don't want any air escaping. I seal it all off, trim the tape, and this is good enough. See how much air I get out of the other side here. I read 
let's turn it on. And this fan takes a while to spin up. Yeah, there's some good air coming out. It's pretty good airflow, actually. I'm uh, kind of surprised the amount of air coming out. It's not bad. This is not a powerful fan, as it is, so you certainly don't want to block it with anything. Yeah, quite a lot of air coming out. Honestly, for a small case with a small circuit board inside, this should be enough air to keep the air from getting stagnant inside the case. And hopefully it'll be enough to keep the unit from overheating. Also, I don't run my MPT7210A very hard. I don't put hundreds of watts through it. The other thing is it's going to be kept inside of a semi-conditioned space, so there will be some air conditioning. It's not going to be too hot, even in the summer. So I don't suspect there will be any issue with heat. Now I'm just closing the case back up. So there it is, all modified. And of course there are more high-tech and professional ways to do it if you have that kind of time. You have the freedom and liberty to engineer something better. I do not currently at the moment have the freedom or liberty to do much at all. My goal is to run this controller, not spend a lot of money, but get away from that high-pitched sound. And I think this will do it. Now what I'm going to do is actually reinstall it on my charge board. I think this will be a lot quieter. And it, it probably will have some fan noise, but it's probably not going to be anything like what it was before. This is the machine I'll be charging. It's a modified Ryobi lawnmower. It has uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries and some other mods and adjustments I made. I got this lawnmower because I injured myself and I could no longer do oil changes and belt changes and all that kind of stuff. And so I decided this would be a neat way to get around the injury. Also, it would be an excuse to play with batteries and solar. And here is the mower connected to the charger. The cable right there is charging the mower. It's just a temporary cable I made up. And it's just plugged in there charging. Okay, there's the charge controller running. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of solar power right now. But I can tell you, I really can barely hear the fan unless I put my face right up to the charge controller. Let me try turning off the AC unit, which is running over there in the window, and see if I can hear the fan. There's the charge controller with some better lighting. Only 15 watts. I can hear the fan, but it's changed the sound to a very low rushing tone, very peaceful, not, not bothering me at all. So I would say this mod is successful and the fastest way to fix the problem, and also the cheapest. Maybe in a future time I'll try cutting out the metal in the case and do something more tasteful. But right now I'm not able to do anything that advanced or complicated, and this suits me just fine. Well, I hope this helps somebody, and hopefully a lot of folks who have the loud fan problem on this charge controller will at least have some ideas on how to fix the problem. In fact, it didn't cost me any money at all. I just used parts I had laying around. So it was very cheap, and it only took me, you know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes or so to do the modification. Okay, things should be changing in the next few months here. I should be able to make more videos, but this will have to do for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.